Oh man, oh man, oh man. I just did a recording or I thought I hit the record button but I didn't save it. I was doing some basic PHP review. Let's see, um Oh, yeah, that's right. I was talking about earlier here, um, if the connection fails, this um, following line of code that is between the opening and closing uh, curly braces for this if statement executes or runs only if the expression between the closing and opening parentheses for this if statement renders being true. Whereas if there if there is a error that is or some type of value that is not uh, not a number or null but something else other than not a number or null or zero this would evaluate to being the value of true and anything that renders as true in between there would run the code that is for instance, this one line between the opening and closing curly braces. So if there is some type of data that is returned when uh, returned into this scalar variable that was uh, given as the identifier of con for short for connects or an abbreviation for connects um, here equals a new mysql i connection attempt to the server name here it is the local host otherwise that is the um, alias for the IP address of 127.0.0.1, which means the it's trying to connect to a MySQL database server software running locally on the person's you know computer system who's doing this programming and trying to run it. So it's trying to connect to local host and then see if there is a um, MySQL server running on there, on their machine locally with the appropriate username and password to access all the databases running on that server. And if there is an error in trying to connect, then let's say the server was turned off. This would would then evaluate to being true, and then the the appropriate error, for instance, would uh, be stored in here. And then uh, it would end the script by um, running or executing the die function, and then print out on the the browser screen 
connection failed, followed by a colon. And then uh, con using the concatenate operator, it would display the appropriate um, data that was actually um, indicating that there was an error in trying to connect. Otherwise, it would say connected successfully. Let's call query. Temporary table. Okay. I don't know. Still can't tell. They could come up in that classic. God be damned. I always thought that means little cat people. Associated variety. Run to your TVs for a beachside binge. Spend your weekend at the beach house with two and a half men. Did I have to do a book report? Not important. Beachside binge starts tonight at six on TV Land. It's funny how you can look at the same thing from childhood all the way to adulthood. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Somewhere along the way, no mechanics become the side order. In this case, there was one, two, three, four, five entries into the database for worlds, the world database, and those five entries being um, the, the city being first, and then the country code, the city name, and the country code. is um, parsed into the row associative array where um, the MySQLi fetch associative array returns it the data that was uh, retrieved from doing whoever was retrieved and stored in the result a scalar variable here after executing or running the mysqli query command function to the established connection to the database followed by 
the commands, the commands being um, attempted to execute was to select the name country code from the city table in the database worlds and then order by descending descending order okay those that commands into the mysqli query function here to the established connection to the database that was done here and then um temporarily stores all the entries all five entries here as the example into the result scalar variable and then uh, the mysqli fetch associative um, array parses all this data here that was scooped up and placed into result and probably delimit, delimited with a delimiter, kind of like a comma. These are, were probably comma separated or something like that. And then it was, it goes through each one, one by one. like this into each each iteration of this while loop row by row the name and country code is printed to the screen where the name would be there and then between these opening and closing parentheses would be the country code here so, okay that's the first video segment for today and i may do an, another two not sure yet